So the two box challenge, probably one of the most infamous challenges in all of Call of Duty Zombies. And something that I'm curious about is how hard would the two box challenge be on Black Ops 6 Zombies? So basically that's what this video is about. I'm going to go ahead and play Terminus and Liberty Falls. And essentially I'm only allowed to hit the box twice and whatever weapons I get, those are the only two weapons I'm going to be allowed to use. So you know, go ahead, take a guess on what round you think I'm going to get to. But yeah, other than that, let's just go ahead and jump straight into our first map, which is Terminus. Yes, we have officially scooped this low. All right, my second game of Terminus, we're doing the two box challenge, right? So I'm not gonna lie, right? I wasn't planning to do the two box challenge this early on, uh, but everything I wanna do, I need to level up for. So I thought, you know what? For my second game ever of Terminus Island, and I'm gonna eventually gonna be Liberty Falls. I might as well do some type, like kind of challenge to uh, level up my character, unlock some augments and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought, you know what? Let's do the two box challenge. So basically, right? Terminus Island is a very, very big map. So the box is all the way over there, right? And what I'm gonna let myself do Oh, I'm not gonna let myself do I suppose is I'm not gonna let myself shoot any weapons until we get to the box right like all I can use is this knife so we're gonna find out how this is gonna go I suppose hopefully everything goes okay this knife is still one tapping I'm hoping I don't play like absolute dog shit because I'm not gonna lie right I'm like a little kid on Christmas all right I could not sleep the day before this game came out straight up I was just lying in bed just sitting there staring thinking all right pondering so I've just arose from like a five hour nap and this is what I'm doing with my time so yo what is up my boy Peck how are you doing uh, okay, so which way do I go? I go this way. Oh my god, can I save you? Wait, I just fucking killed the guy. Wait, why are you killing me? What a knobhead. Yeah, of course he was a Jackal PDW user as well. What a wet wipe. All right, anyways. Oh, look at that. We're leveling up the knife. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, let's go this way. Are you gonna shoot me? Why the fuck are you shooting me, bro? I thought we were like, I thought we were cool like that. I guess not. It's okay. This is kind of bad look. I'm pretty sure I've had the box spawn there, like straight off the bat. So yeah, we just got really unlucky with the box being all the way down there. Where even is that? I have no idea how to even get over there. Awesome stuff. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do the second generator anyways. I'm gonna be real, right? I'm a little bit worried for this challenge because if I don't get a decent weapon, like I genuinely think we're gonna struggle, right? Because dude, like the difficulty spike in this game is insane. Like when they said they were gonna make the game more challenging, they they, they meant it, bro. Genuinely, they meant it, right? Like there were some times in my first playthrough of this, which, you know, it's up on my channel if you wanna go watch that, where I was straight up tweaking, bro, right? I was like a little bit on the scared side. Like this game straight up, 100% honest, it's not the easiest thing in the world. But enough of me complaining, right? Right, we're here, right? We're at the mystery box. All right, what are we going to get as our first box hit? Once I pick this up, I'm not allowed to use the knife anymore. Also, look at my funky little weapon here. Uh, I think it's like the Plague Doctor skin. It's pretty cool stuff. But here we go. We got the <laughs> we got the Jackal PDW, boys. We've become the worst enemy. Oh, my Lord. Right, I just want to take a minute though, to actually have a look at this skin because I've not actually looked at it yet. Part of the Vault Edition. I mean, there we go. Cool stuff, I suppose. Oh, it's farting all over me. Unlucky. But yeah, that is all we're going to look at that weapon because uh, I'm not allowed to use it anymore. So yeah, anyway, right, Jackal PDW. I don't know how good this gun's actually going to be because again right like this is literally my second game on i will be amazed if i'm able to uh even find my way over the pack a bunch all right i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep it real also what's your guys thoughts on this hood right like this is kind of the uh classic bo3 kind of hood i suppose obviously you know it doesn't have like the funny bo3 hood i suppose is the best way to put that but you know what i mean right like it, it basically tries to be classic so what's your guys thoughts on this because i can actually change it all just kind of big so if i get sick or i get fed up at looking at this uh, i can change it around uh but yeah so let's go ahead take a second hit of the box i'm kind of hoping to get the wonder weapon i've not actually had it yet obviously the chance to me getting the wonder weapon is pretty fucking slim there we go we got the as vow oh, dude i'm gonna be real i'm not really a fan of this gun oh wait no this one's full auto wait have i been getting a different gun the whole time i thought i was getting the as vow and the as vow wasn't a uh full auto weapon holy okay maybe this thing actually is gonna be good interesting stuff but yep here we go these are our two weapons for the entire game unless you uh you know until we get onto liberty falls so yeah interesting to see how we do so uh, i guess let's go ahead and make our way down to the final power generator thingy down there how do i do that i assume it's down here right for the arsenal here gonna need a lot of salvage to get these guns up in the you know for rarity also i didn't mean to pop that that's kind of unlucky right that arsenal accelerator i'm not gonna take any of my gobble gums i'm gonna be real right like i kind of just don't really want to take them like i really have the bo3 like feel right where i just want to save them for like easter eggs and like special occasions i really don't just waste them on like a random match like this dude this map is like so good looking i can't even lie the quote-unquote aura that people were saying was absent from black ops 6 zombies it's just it's just not true genuinely i think both of these maps are really good like honestly even liberty balls you know the thing that everyone keeps making fun of i really don't think it's that bad which by the way right can i just add right the wood aura is genuinely like the most cringe thing ever also we have a shawl here let me go ahead and take that like why have we why have we just stopped using the word atmosphere what, what's happening to that we don't call mob of the dead having an aura like bro it, it's weird i don't know it's like it sounds like tiktok terminology and i don't really like that i've got the fucking vermin bro holy ugly oh dude no 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 okay we're all good yeah i need to get my way to pack like as soon as possible nothing 
I noticed, right, it's like playing isn't as long as I thought it was going to take. I thought there's going to be a bit more risk with playing. But yeah, no, it's like it's definitely not as bad as I you know, initially thought. Uh, but yeah, OK, let's open up into here. Wait, is this an AS Val? Oh, my God, it is. I feel like buying a war weapon to increase the rarity, like and getting rid of this one would be kind of cheap. I feel like that'd be a little bit cheap. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to not do that. You know, the game decided to give me a green rarity weapon. It could have gave me any other rarity, but it gave me this one. So, you know, I just got to put up with it. Got to deal with it now. God, I'm a little bit worried, though, because these weapons really do feel like they're already starting to fall off a bit, which is a little bit terrifying. I'm not going to lie. And in classic AS Val problems, right, this thing has absolutely no ammo in the clip. Uh, but there we go. That's power on. So absolutely lovely stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty sure all we got to do now is literally just dive down here and use this. And I think that's package open. Like, package is actually really easy to get in this map. It's really not that difficult. But yeah, there we go. See, I think the guns I'm going to pack much first is probably his AS Val. I just want to see if it gets more ammo in the clip. Plus, it does seem like it's maybe the stronger weapon. Oh my god, I say that, but right now, both for these weapons are just sucking. Also, I should really be going for critical kills because uh, the camo grind in this game, the first, like, couple, like, base camos, I suppose you'd say, they're all critical kills. I think it's like 2,000 critical kills or something crazy like that. So, it is going to take a hot minute to complete this camo grind. I could not lie to you, Jeeve. Alright, but here we go. All right, we've got 7,000 points. Go ahead and package this AS Val. We've got the as if. Truly, Treyarch, you're absolutely goofy. Look at this package camo, bro. Like, this looks so nice. Yeah, no, this thing does feel pretty good. I mean, again, all right, it is around 9. But as I said, man, like, the difficulty spike is insane. So, like, round 9, I'm not gonna lie on some weapons, bro. Even tier 1's not enough, which is crazy to think about. I wonder which map we're gonna get the furthest on. I kind of want to say Liberty Falls, right, because it is, like, a smaller map. But, bro, then again, like, some of the guys on the Liberty Falls, they are strong. Like, the Mega Abominations in that game, bro, that shit is tanky. I mean, not to spoil my uh, my last video, in case you want to go watch it, but we failed an exfil on that uh, on Liberty Falls because of that guy. It was literally the last one we had to kill, and he was just tanking every shot. It was insane. Also, now that I've upgraded this thing to blue rarity, this thing is a lot better. Like, this thing is clapping up the zombies. A little bit bizarre. Do I want to package this Jackal PDW to tier 1? Oh my god, this thing is moving? Um, okay, I didn't think this thing moves on its own. I'm going to be completely real. I, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, so do I want to package this tier 1, or do I want to, like, try and package from AS Val to tier 2? I feel like something I keep doing right is I only pack much one weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and pack much this as well. Yeah, now basically I've just got multiple weapons. So hopefully I'll be able to last longer because, yeah, like one of the things I've had an issue with is just like guns not being able to kill. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep it real, right? This game might be harder than BO3. I'm going to keep it 100% real. At least with BO3, right? Like with double tap alone, you can kind of survive on like round 20 with an unpacked weapon. You cannot do that on this game. Like straight up. Yo, what is that purple glow? Oh, it's going to be some trial things uh i guess you know what let's do one why not temporary perk applied what have i just got oh i got phd flopper i gotta kill 30 zombies with phd floppers kind of unfortunate judging the fact that uh i think it's a vermin round so that's kind of unfortunate holy shit bro dude like this thing is not very good phd oh i just say that and then got every kill in the map we're so back okay there we go we did it we got a gold reward that's huge okay i want to see what we're going to get from this we got refined ethereum crystal is that just a pack a punch that'd be fucking huge if it is hold on oh my god it is yo okay some trials are actually huge i did not know they were discoated bro that's crazy work bro yo that's I, i'm baffled i did not know they did that yo okay so basically whenever there's a some trial just make sure you do it that's literally a 15 grand upgrade just for free and can i just add by the way look at the oh my lord look at this screenshot bro clean up i oh my pants oh my god dude this game looks so fucking good i don't even care what anyone says like i'm gonna keep it 100 real bro we are eating so good this year so so good like i was saying to a uh, spp like obviously it could just be the fact that the game's new and like i'm just giddy for it and i've got some kind of bias because of that but like genuinely i really do think this game has like like really solid potential also we just got the mangler cannon and we've got an epic loot key holy am i gonna allow myself to use the mangler cannon cannon we don't get it very often i feel like i should i think it's just like a little goofy thing uh but yeah i suppose like we could use up this armory key real quick because we can get free perks out of this uh so which one am i feeling i'm feeling door number four we got a chopper gunner at the bro oh my lord okay well i'll keep the mangler can oh wait actually no i suppose if you could interact with these ones i don't think you can no okay yeah we just got unlucky it is what it is we move also <laughs> boys with stamina up you dive so far like it is unreal how far you actually go 
Uh, does this thing stack with Omni movement, actually? I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, yeah, I think it does. Oh my lord. Oh, let's not die, please. I should really uh, probably buy some new armor. I should probably get on that. But yeah, I mean, like, look, boys, as you're about to see, right? Jackal PDW tier pack, like, pack which one? Like, this thing is struggling, bro. Like, it is struggling. Like, it is killing, obviously. Don't get me wrong. But you can see that, like, the fall off is there. Uh, okay, where do I want to go next? Next Sam turret thing's over there. There's a Sam turret, Sam challenge. So I guess we could head over here. See, something I haven't really figured out. Wait, you can get on the boat? Oh my god, I've not even been over there yet. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna buy me some level 2 armor. Also, I feel like Deadshot. I need to be buying that as well. Because if it's like Cold War Deadshot, right, it should increase headshot damage. Which obviously will make all the guns better. I mean, yeah, I feel like I can already feel an improvement. I mean, I could just be yapping though. Okay, so yeah, how do I get to, I guess, the boat? I suppose I could swim my way there. Oh lord, okay, we did not die. I got a little bit scared there, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, let's deploy a tactical rift. A raft, sorry. My bad. I speak. We move. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way over to the boat because I just have not been here yet. It is crazy, by the way. Like, this map is huge. Genuinely huge. But yeah, here we are. Is there anything over here? I would not be surprised, right, if Elemental Pop is here because I, that is the one perk I have not seen. Okay, well, either way, let's go ahead and do the Sam Trail. Hip fire kills. Okay. I mean, it's not bad at all. Need 40 kills. Again, right, as long as I go for critical hits, we should be all good. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, I did not think about that. I completely forgot about the big guy of the map. Oh, no. I completely forgot about this guy. But this is not good. <laughs> this is really not good. Yo, no, 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 stop sniffing me. Oh, no, no, this is not good, bro. Okay, grab that nuke. Please kill him, please kill him, please kill him. Oh, my God. Please die. Dude, he's not dying. Oh, my God, there we go. Holy, he was not going down. Okay, what do we got? We got monkey bomb. Cool stuff. Dude, that was actually terrifying. I can't even lie. That boss is just so tanky. I, like, the mini bosses in this game are just, like, insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, when it comes to, like, the mastery comes and stuff like that, like, the elite kills and stuff like that, it's, it's just gonna be crazy. It's gonna be bizarre. It's gonna be a little bit bonkers. Okay, are you gonna let me on game? There we go. I kind of want to see the, uh, the big worm thingy that comes out of the water. Okay, you can leave the combat area. Good to know. Dude, we're not doing too bad, though. Round 17. Yo, I, I'll take that. What is that noise? Bro, what is that noise? Uh-oh. I just got pushed off. What was that noise? Yo, I don't like this, bro. Eerie fucking, like, noise. I don't like this. This game, like, this map is creepy, bro. I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. Like, this shit is straight up creepy. Also, I should really, if I can, pack wrenches to tier 2. Also, here's where elemental pop is. I had no idea where it was at. Yo, why is this shit making, like, noises at me, though? I don't like that. It's this thing. I die. It's, that's scary. Stay away. Uh, okay. So, how do I get down to pack wrench again? Is that not just the big elevator thing here? See, like, that's one of the things, right? It's like, oh, I guess I could just do this. Oh my god, there's, like, three islands. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, as I was gonna say, like, that's one of the things, right? It's like, see, like, as clean as it is to not have, like, a mini map in the top left of my screen, it makes things so much more confusing to get around. Oh my god, bro, the PP919. Dude, that gun returning from Modern Warfare 3 just makes me so happy. And it is the Modern Warfare 3 version. You can't tell me otherwise. Okay, let me buy my way in here. Oh, dude, are you you little trolley bastard? Oh, I hate you, game. Actual asshole. All right, well, uh, I guess let's just go ahead, upgrade this. And uh, you know what? I guess we could upgrade another gun. I feel like for now, I'm going to upgrade this to purple because this, this gun is definitely like one of the better weapons. Also, all right, another thing I forgot. The new perk. Oh my god, I'm about to die, actually. Let's not die, please. Yeah, the new perk, anyways, right? I can't remember the name of it. It's the punchy one. Let's just keep it 100% like completely real. Right now, base perk, no augments. It is kind of ass. It really is not that good. Like, sloppy taffy was better, bro. I can't lie to you, Chief. I think, like, once you get the augments and, like, it can start hitting mobile enemies at once, it's gonna absolutely slap. But for the time being, uh, yeah, it's really not it. It just takes too long. Okay, but yeah, we're around 19. Yo, we're actually not doing too bad. I just kind of want to see how far we can go. Obviously, there's only two, like, maps in this game. So, I'm not gonna get to a certain round of quarter day. Like, I'm literally just gonna keep going until I die. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch out the runtime for you guys. Plus, it's just nice talking about a new game, honestly, right? Like, as much as people want BO3, oh, a game like BO3, like, like I'm gonna be, I'm be real. Like, I don't want that. I would, just, like, genuinely rather have something, I suppose, new. Something that, like, you know, BO3 can't provide me with. Also, I think, oh my lord. Yo, look at the trial, by the way. Avoid taking damage. We're so back. Oh, let's go. Mr. GG Man 19 just joined my lobby. We're so up. Dude, how the fuck am I supposed to avoid taking damage? Oh my lord. Oh, yo, holy. Okay, quick. Um, Holy moly, bro. This is, like, really difficult. I just got 
railed. This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, round 20, by the way. Two pack of weapons. Like, not even bad rarities or anything. It's it's a hard life out here, bro. It is a hard knock life for us, bro. Okay, quickly take you on. There we go. Hopefully, we can still get a gold reward. I don't think we will. I think we're going to probably fall just short. Oh, my God. Wait, hold up. Maybe? Maybe? We just about did it, bro. That was crazy. Holy. Also, we're going for chest number five. What are you going to give me, baby? Uh, Wow, this might be the most dog shit one I've ever had. That is truly unfortunate times. Oh, my God. And we have a big guy. Um, Shit. Okay. Let me just go claim my rewards real quick. See what we can get. Oh, my God. We got self revive back. That's cool. You also got one of these bad boys. Is that going to go off? No. It's this bad boy. I want to see what this looks like. I, I guess you could say it's kind of breaking the rules, but I just want to see what it looks like. Yo, that shit is just... Just look at it, go. Look at my baby go. What perk did I lose? I lost the perk and I can't tell which one it was. Like, I genuinely can't remember. Like, I definitely had a poor perk, right? Uh, you know what I could do, right? I could really do with getting, like, speed coder and stuff like that. Oh, I lost Deadshot. That's the one I lost. Right. I was gonna say, like, I definitely lost something. I just could not remember what it was. Dude, actually, I'm really close to a level 3 pack. Like, I feel like if we had the double points going right now, yo, we would have that level 3 pack punch, bro. I'm kind of tempted just to save up for that. Oh my god, we actually got a double point. Um, it could be too far in the round. Hold on, I'm gonna throw a monkey bomb. First of all, because I've not used one yet. And yeah, it's a little bit funny. Also, bro, the ragdoll and the zombies is insane in this game. <laughs> like, look at them go, bro. Yo, we are so close. We are like 2,000 points away. Less than that. Also, I think I can go ahead and get this thing up to purple rarity. So there we go. I think it's gonna be a lot better now. Dude, the rarity system actually does make a massive difference. Like, you'd think it wouldn't, but like, it really does. We're like genuinely back to the point, by the way, where like round 20 is genuinely kind of a challenge. Like, like if you were bad at the game, dude, like you would really struggle to get to round 20, I think. Like, I think once again, right, we're at the point where if you just jumped over from like multiplayer or warzone, I really think you would struggle a bit with zombies. But you know, in a bit of a selfish way, it's actually just really good. Also, like, look at this pack range camera, bro. I mentioned it in my last video, but like, oh my lord, that, that is one of the best pack range cameras I think we have ever had ever. Like, it is fucking fantastic. But yeah, like, it's like, weirdly good because obviously it means that they can kind of, you know, are you good? Hello? Uh, but yeah, it means that they can kind of like focus more on like making zombies more of like a zombie experience. But at the same time, you know, kind of unlucky for anyone who's trying to get into the mode because I feel like they might struggle a bit. Then again, you know, maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe I'm just like trying out my ass, you know? I don't know. I just like, as someone who's seen all of the games, like this game to me just feels like one that would be harder to get into compared to something like Cold War or Modern Warfare Zombies, you know what I mean? Oh, dude, don't. Oh my God, we are so low. Stop sniffing. Also, oh, I want to buy that if I can. There we go. I wonder what like the round 100 strat's going to be on this map. Oh my God, can you stop, please? But yeah, I'm like genuinely curious on what the strategy is going to be. Because again, I've not even had the Wonder Weapon yet, bro. I'm going to keep it 100% real. Like, oh, dude, there's no way. I'm dead. Dude, oh my God. You actual rat boy. He just won't fucking die. Like, I shot him so many times. There we go. Oh my God. I'm going to have to rebuy back all my perks. God damn it. Yeah, dude, these guns are like really starting to fall off. So I'm saying, like, eventually they will get to a point where there's like metal loadouts and stuff like that. My guess is it's probably going to be shotguns again this year. If I had to like be completely honest, it's basically shotguns every single year at this point. But I mean, then again, I, I could be wrong. The M16, I guess, was the meta in Cold War. So I'm, I'm hoping to be proven wrong. I do like shotguns though. I can't lie. One of the shotguns in this game was like the first weapons I pack a punched. So I can't lie, holding a bit of a near and dear place in my heart right now. Oh my god, hello Mangler. Oh my god, hello Mangler. Please die. Please die. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone, Mangler. Mangler, please leave me alone. Oh dude, I'm I'm I might be dead again. Never mind. We're all good. Omni movement is genuinely kind of huge if you're getting out of like really weird places. Oh my god, yeah, there's like dig spots as well. I just got completely forgot about. That's the whole point of the shovel. I have no idea where these dig spots are, but they they are a thing. Also, uh, isn't Deadshot literally here? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that if I can. Five thousand points, kind of crazy. So in case you guys didn't know, by the way, uh, in this game, oh my god, does oh my, am I dead? No, we're good, we're alive. Holy moly! But yeah, in this game, right, the Wonder Fizz doesn't open up until round twenty-five. That's insane. Also, starting this round, apparently the game is meant to get harder. I'm gonna be real, I've not really noticed it. The most I've seen is potentially like more mini bosses, more armor zombies, but that is really about it. Also, we might as well just pop this bad boy out. This thing is so cool, by the way. Like, I kind of want to know how to use it because it's cool, but it's like not very good. But then like sometimes it is good. So I, I don't really get it. Oh my God, we got gold Luke here. Oh, give me that. Right, we're going to go redeem that, I think. But yeah, apparently the game is meant to be a lot more harder. So see how that's going to do us. Uh, I guess to answer the uh, the long awaited question, I suppose, is the two box challenge hard in this game? Like, yeah, but also like still nah. I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm only on round 26. Game could easily ramp up in difficulty within the next like four rounds and just clap me up. But like, yeah, at the moment, it does kind of seem like most weapons are viable, which I like. You know, I do like the fact that you can kind of run whatever, get to whatever round you kind of want. 
I mean, again, round 26, so right, let's not get ahead of myself here. The weapons could fall off really bad, but at the moment, they don't seem that bad. Also, I'm opening up chest number one. We got Mutant Injection. Well, since the game's going to give me it, I feel like it'd be rude if I didn't use it. Oh my god, dude, the mangler. Oh, dude, I'm dead. Dude, I'm just fully dead. Oh my lord. Oh, dude, I've not seen this uh, animation yet of, like, dying to a zombie. Yo, this shit is crazy. But okay, but there we go. I was not expecting to die on round 26. I'm going to be completely real with you. I was out here chatting the most amount of shit, and the game said, yo, what's up, bro? I completely forgot I didn't have a self rifle. There we go. I mean, that's Terminus Island. Round 26, though, genuinely kind of impressive. Like, the weapons I had weren't bad by any means, but they also weren't, like, you know, great. So, hopefully, right, in our next map, Liberty Falls, things will go a little bit more bright. Also, how much XP did I on that game? I'm kind of curious. So, I was level 19 going into this, and I finished up at, what? App apparently, still level 19. That's a lie. I got to level 23. Okay, well, there we go, I suppose. So, yeah, with Terminus done, let's just go ahead and move on to our next map, which is Liberty Falls. Alright, so on to Liberty Falls. Now, I'm going to be completely real, right? It's a whole ass new day from when I was playing Terminus because, oh, look at that. I got Desert Camo on my knife. But literally, like, right after I did Terminus part of this video, I went live. And holy, I made a lot of money. Uh, I am rich. So thank you to everyone who's been showing up to the live streams. I probably won't live again today. I could be live right now. I'm going to be real. I could. I, I don't know. Because today, the Easter egg comes out and we're going to be hunting it, all right? Me and my, and my little squad here. That's what I'm going to call ourselves. I don't know what we're going to call it, like, our actual squad squad name could be the goon squad i don't know a lot of people like to say they're gooning over my videos so i mean i suppose we could say that uh but yeah you know easter comes out today so I i'm pretty excited i'm curious to see how fast it's gonna you know get solved I mean, it could literally be solved by the time this video comes out i'm not even gonna lie to you chief that'd be kind of hype if it was uh but yeah i think we're gonna be probably hunting liberty falls because i feel like this would be the easier quest but i don't know but yeah my point anyway was right is it's a whole new day i have no idea what i actually talked about yesterday so if i accidentally repeat some of my you know points or anything i say you know it's my bad my sleep has been so bad for the launch of BO6, it has been absolutely atrocious. I mean, boys, the game is, is what, a day old? I'm already level 37. That's actually not that, like, that, that good, to be honest. I probably could have prestige by now if I really just, like, sweated up and played on my own, but uh, I've been playing a lot of, like, co-op with people, and I'm not gonna lie, it's been a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. But it has been more fun. You know, actually, something I do want to go on a little roundabout, right, is, obviously, I kind of want to do a series on the camos, like, the health camo grind and stuff like that, but holy shit, the camo grind is boring this year. Before we get into that, though, I do want to hit the box. I want to see what we can get. Go Give me something good. We are going to get the PP919. Okay, I'm a little bit happy with that. I'm a little bit goofy with that. My absolute little beauty over here. Uh, but yeah, the camo grind this year, for zombies at least, if it's fucking just boring, respectfully. Like, I'm going to do it, and I'm still going to make a video of it, but it's just, it's going to be so much grinding, right? Like, essentially, there's, like, your base camos that you can get. You've got your special camos, and then you've obviously got, like, your mastery camos. All of your base camos, right, across every single weapon is, like, just 2,000 critical kills, which is insane insane to me and like i don't know i just feel like it should have just been like a thousand critical kills or something and maybe like another challenge or something else because like that just seems so much and i think like, i i kind of like i worked it out but the ars alone you've got to get fourteen thousand headshots to get everything to like pass that whole like critical stage and even then after that right i think the next challenge is like get 300 kills with napalm burst equipped and it's like vermin kills and it's like rapid kills or something like that it's absolutely wacky a little bit goofy but you know it is what it is the grind never stops i suppose also what are we gonna get as our second weapon from the box hopefully we got something decent we got the jackal pdw again thank you game again no variety on this channel so yeah i'm really not like looking forward too much to doing the camo grind I, I feel like as you just play you kind of just need to go for headshots and just kind of go for it that way and i feel like that's going to be like one of the number one things just not get burnt out on this game is it's just like don't just use the same weapon for multiple games you know like like take a bit of a break you know what i mean switch over to different weapons change up how you play you know like just don't only focus on the camo grind because i feel like that will just absolutely like kill it for you overall though right i'm actually having a really fun time with black ops 6 like i really don't think the game is bad like at all dare i say it the game is actually fun i know obviously like yes it's a bit on the like you know challenging side there is obviously problems with the game that could do with getting fixed but overall right like i think they've done a really good job and i am personally right like the thing i'm looking forward to the most is literally going to be the easter eggs if the easter eggs slap for this game and they're really fun to do i am going to be so happy like this will literally 
definitely be like up there right now because i think as i was saying on stream and stuff yesterday i feel like this game right has like the that's like such a good potential to be just like one of the best zombie games we've ever had and i really just don't want to see them waste it you know like i feel like they keep making pretty decent zombies experiences and just wasting it and i feel like this is the one that i want to see where they just like just go all out you know balls to the wall just pull out like the craziest shit that's what i'm hoping for also i don't know whose idea it was at treyarch hq well, obviously not treyarch hq activision hq i don't know whose idea it was right to have like a collaboration with monster where you unlock rewards based on how many cans you drink and like how many tabs you collect i don't know again wh whoever's idea that was they're out to get me all right i'm not gonna lie i will be maxing out the rewards within the next like within, within the next day all right i don't know how many cans it is i think it's like 50 I, like light work actual light work they are not safe from me cans of monster also uh which gun do i want to pack a bunch i feel like i kind of want to do this one sure i think it's 120 bullets in the clip see i know for a fact right that with extended mags that you can put on this gun it can go up to like 320 bullets in the clip which is like genuinely insane see there hasn't really been like a class meta yet i think i, I kind of said this in terminus but like there isn't really a single gun yet where it's like this is obviously the better weapon to use pretty much every gun has been like good and usable also right i think which grave is it it's one of these graves here does it change every game if it does that's actually really interesting it might be just this one up here yeah roof dempsey what's that about Treyarch? i feel like that's gonna have to do like something through d-strike maybe or like dempsey's gonna like, have some kind of appearance going forward surely like spp made a really good point yesterday in stream like you don't just drop the name dempsey and zombies and just expect it to be nothing you know what i mean like there has to be something more to that surely also 100 i need to start working my perks something that's like, really important right in this game that you guys need to like do in case you haven't you know i guess like started doing it already quick revive in this game is genuinely potentially the most important thing to ever buy ever that and your armor i've like come to the conclusion is like just two of the most important things to buy it's something i always neglect and it always gets me killed straight up always gets me killed especially the awful health regen without quick revive even with quick, uh, quick revive it is really slow but i think i timed it right without quick revive it takes seven seconds that like regen your health which is insane to me i don't think it's ever been that slow ever i could be wrong though but yeah with quick revive i think it's like yeah no, that is like easily halved so if you're struggling especially with the health regen i would probably work on your augments with like quick revive and stuff like that first that would be my guess because i'm working through the augments right now and bro they take so long to like level up as well i don't think i've got a single like perk slot or anything like that fully maxed out yet i'm just kind of like doing them i guess like just a little bit and maybe coming back to it the one i at least want to fully do is going to be jug right because i want to see how the the total shield got like guess like augment thing works also let me go ahead and open up this do you want to activate this challenge i think it's the phd one stand still that's a that's a little bit unfortunate i'm not gonna lie by the way the more i play with the whole uh like sam turret thingy or the sam challenge straight up it is a really good mechanic it's like trying to incorporate aspects of like outbreak into round based which i think works really well and the rewards are really good as well like the rewards aren't like dookie you know what i mean like you don't waste your time going for them which is like what i think i like the most about it because the rewards were ass i mean these okay this one i say that and i proceed to get like probably the most dookie ass rewards ever but yeah like if they were like really bad like sometimes you get like literally a free a bunch free from those chests you know what i mean like if they were really bad obviously like no one would ever do them but like they, they are really useful oh uh, another thing right i have to agree with pretty much everyone else the mangler spam is a little bit crazy in this game straight up a little bit goofy oh lord i did not mean to borrow monkey bomb okay whatever but yeah it can be a little bit bad at times i'm not gonna lie they're gonna go flying oh my god <laughs> like yeah i think we were playing yesterday right and me and nick turned the corner and i shit you not there must have been like eight or like eight or nine manglers just sitting there there were so many and like the thing is right is again if you don't have quick revive i think even if you have quick revive it's really hard because obviously they've got aimbot right so you'll just be walking around your day all happy and shit uh, and the next minute you're getting absolutely domed and clapped up it's it's truly unfortunate at times okay let me go ahead and upgrade this thing to blue so there we go this thing shouldn't be as bad now also before anyone brings it up i suppose the whole hood thing i've gone back to the default hood i'm gonna be honest classic hood is nice but at the same time i can't stand the fucking round counter being in the bottom left with the big uh, i guess like point icon and stuff like that if i was able to turn down the point icon so they weren't you know absolutely massive i feel like it would be you know a better hood but yeah unfortunately you can't so i've just gone back to this hood i really don't think this hood looks too bad to be honest with you i had my phone with the classic hood i think i'm just gonna stick with this one for now crouch kills um but yeah either way right i've still turned off the uh the mini map and stuff like that because again i think the mini map is awful it just like takes up like the whole top left of the screen I, i'm personally not a fan right so i just play with it off and that boy Believe it or not.
not is the joy of having a customizable hood is you can literally have it the way you want. Uh, obviously, I've kept on like the zombie health bar. I usually play with it off. I just wanted to see how much health the zombies actually have, especially the mega abominations, because bro, it really straight up doesn't feel like they take damage sometimes. But then when I played with the, the health bar on, like I didn't have as much as a problem take them out. Like it was weird. I think it just lets me know when I'm hitting that like weak spots and stuff like that. So it makes it a bit easier. But yeah, let me go ahead and do this. We also got an epic ether tool. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on here, I suppose. That's kind of huge. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like you can get some good stuff from these from these chests. They're actually like really good. But yeah, the reason that I bring up the whole like hood discussion, right, is because I don't know what it is, right? With just like the zombies community. Like boys, we don't all have to like the same stuff. I feel like the zombies community just forgets this. With all due respect, right? Like I had so many people come into my stream and just be like, oh, this game looks so bad. This game looks so dog shit. Yo, the hood of this game is so ugly. Yo, I'd rather play with no hood at all. It's like, if you don't like the game or you don't like the hood or you don't like the gameplay or you think the game is going to be bad, why are you looking up the game on youtube.com in order just to say that the game is bad? Like, bro, just, just keep it to Twitter or keep it to your comment sections or YouTube comment sections that people, you know, are just saying the game is bad. Like, just keep it to that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what you're expecting by telling me that the game is bad. Like, I don't know what the goal is here. Is it just to just like spread around negativity or just are you trying to genuinely make me reconsider that I like the game? I don't, I don't get it. And I never will get it. It's whatever. It really is whatever. Like, the thing is, right, is you try to ask them what they mean and they just get all defensive about it. It's truly crazy stuff. And they just start like spewing out the most amount of nonsense known to man. And Milo would be proud. Actually, no, he would not be proud because he likes no nonsense and they'd be spitting out nonsense. So, I don't know, bro. It's so annoying though. Like, bro, I just want to I just want to play the game. You know what I mean? I mean, I made it very clear on stream. I just want to play a game and have an experience with zombies that I can't get anywhere else. And this game is giving me that compared to BO3. Like, BO3 doesn't give me augment. It doesn't give me liberty balls. Haha, <laughs> funny balls joke. Doesn't give me terminus island. You know what I mean? Also, we've got our first abomination here. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it genuinely feels like I'm doing no damage to them. But then once I have the, like, the health bar on right, I think it's just because I'm able to spot their, their weak spot. Like, genuinely. I think that's really all it comes down to. Also, I'm trying so hard to get just a few more points just so I can go ahead and double pack this gun. There we go. Let me help, please. Oh my god, bro. Can you please just open up? There we go. See, look at that, bro. I'm just like mowing them down. Like, this game is really, uh, I guess, like focused on just making sure that you're hitting their crit spots. Like, if you're not, you're really going to struggle against bosses like that, which I really like. It literally adds more difficulty to zombies, which is something we've been asking for for so long. And it is insane to me that people are saying the game is not too hard. Like, genuinely cannot win. I really don't think this game is like needlessly difficult either, right? I think this game is like kind of fun difficult. Maybe I'm just a masochist. Who knows, boys? Also, I don't got lie. Like, this is one of the best pack punch camos we've like ever had. Like, this camo looks fucking beautiful, by the way. The blue and the red just mixes so well. I really, really like it. Plus, like, the little shard thing that goes through the gun, uh, it doesn't look like beans anymore. It actually looks like breaking by the water white funny reference. You know what I mean? It's awesome. I, I love this weapon. Oh, this pack punch camo, sorry. What round did I get to on Terminus? I think I got to round 26. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that on, a, on Liberty Falls over here, but it would be nice if I did. Okay, is there anything I want to be doing? I mean, oh, bro, I kind of want to pack punch this gun to tier two. That is one of the things I will say about this game, though, right? Is like, I always forget to go with perks, like, to actually, like, focus on stuff that isn't pack a punching because pack a punching is so important. So it is something I do really just forget to do. And I feel like just the way the whole point system works, I think just kind of doesn't allow for you to go for perks first, especially with the difficulty increase. See, boys, right? The day we get back the BO4 point system, oh my lord, we have won. We have won. We will truly be back once that happens. I think that would solve a lot of the problems with this game. I'm not going to lie. I guess like I say a lot of the problems with it is actually that many problems with the game. It would have solved that one problem with the game. Also, right, I'm pretty sure if you come in here, little side Easter egg, you shoot this, I'm pretty sure you get 100 points. You do. Look at that, boys. Also, I thought I was fucking insane. I'm not going to lie, right? I shot that on stream for the very first time. Every single ball went in. I thought I was nuts, bro. Like, unironically, I'm, I thought I was him. You know what I mean? And they got told to me that every single game it does that and it immediately filled me with sadness. So I'm going to pretend that I just mastered that so much that every game I'm able to pull it off without a doubt. And no one can tell me otherwise. So we are coming up on round 20, right? See, for anyone who is going for the solo grind, I suppose, or the camo grind. No, I said solo grind, but we move. Like, for example, right, round 20 right now, I've had basically 500 critical hits, give or take. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm nearly at 600. Oh, I am at 600 kills. So you could have more critical hits than me. But like on average, let's say you miss a few. You're basically going to get like it. Like if you were the XO next round, it'd be like 500 critical hits. So it'd take like four games to fully max out one weapon in terms of like the whole critical hit challenge, which I suppose isn't too bad. It really just depends if you guys like going for headshots or not. Like personally, I'm just not really that much of a fan. Like I feel 
feel like this is one of those games, right? That if you play on controller, the combo grind is going to go easy. You know, actual brain dead, as they would say. But I really like playing on keyboard the mouse, all right? I don't really like whipping out the, the old controller. The, the PS4 days are behind me, you know what I mean? I bought a PC to play on keyboard and mouse, not to play on stinky winky controller. Oh my god, bro. That might have been one of the worst comments I think I ever had on the stream yesterday. We were joking about how, like, cringe the word aura is. Also, holy shit, let's not die. Please, Mangler, go away. Please go away, my little goofy goober. Holy shit, bro. Why is this getting... Oh my god. Fuck off, you actual knobhead. There we go. Okay. All right, as I was saying, we were joking about around, like, the word aura and how it's just, like, kind of cringe. And I asked the chat what my aura would be. And the one that is stuck out to me and will stick out to me is when I got told I have stinky, poo like, stinky green poo aura. And then someone also said I had Shinonuma green aura. So, like, truly an unfortunate time to be Renzaro, I suppose. Shit actually filled me with pure sadness, but whatever. Uh, we have got about 9k until I can get it going up to level 3. So, we move. This is easily probably, like, the best training spot, by the way. In case anyone wants to figure out what, like, I guess, like, the best training strategy would be. Easily, it's this. I don't know why they all just started grouping up there. Oh, it's because it's a mangler. Oh, my God. Go away, mangler spam. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't think the mangler spam will be too bad once, uh, once you get, like, the shield gobble gun. Like, I feel like being able to turn around and then just completely negate all the damage done by the mangler is going to be so helpful. I'm hoping I have it soon because I do want to, like, try it all out at some point. I don't even think I've got a single augment for Jug unlocked right now. But I do have it unlocked. I just haven't got a single one equipped, which I don't know why I've not equipped it because you literally get, like, an extra 50 HP if you equip, like, the first augment you get for Jug. So I'm truly doing myself no favors here, but whatever, we move. Is there a trap here? No, I thought it was a trap. There was a dartboard here. I feel like there's going to be a side easter egg with this dartboard. I feel like there has to be. Yo, this combo is also just, like, really nice, by the way. Like, it didn't really click with me at first, but, like, more looking in more now like yeah, it is really nice i would still say that like the second tier camo is like my favorite but this one is still like really good also i'm still yet to pop a single gobble gum in this game i probably will like during this easter egg hunt tonight but like literally i'm getting hardcore like bo3 flashbacks where i just don't want to use up any of my gobble gums like i don't know bro like I, you never know when i'm gonna need them and chances are i'm never gonna use them because i'm never gonna need, like know when i want to like i guess like need them i suppose I, I don't know i can't english today guys give me a break commentary is my like my forte. Oh, no, 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 no. We're all good. We're all good. Get me out of here. You know what's kind of crazy to think? I feel like a lot more people are actually enjoying Liberty Falls over Terminus Island, which is kind of insane to me. Like, I feel like the fact that there's obviously no Easter eggs in the game yet, so people are kind of just only going for the camera grind. I feel like because of that, people haven't really, you know, cared enough about Terminus Island. So, yeah, I feel like once the Easter egg drops tonight and, like, people are able to start doing it, yeah, I feel like people are going to enjoy Terminus a lot more than Liberty Falls, but I could be wrong. Overall, right? Like, Liberty Falls could just be the, you know, more favorited map. I can see it. I can see it. Personally, I'm going to make up my mind when uh, when the Easter eggs and stuff are out. But, like, for example, right, like, all my friends have said that they prefer Liberty Falls over Terminus, which is understandable. And it is crazy. Oh, bro, holy fuck. That mangler said, no, sir, not today. But, yeah, it is crazy, right? The absolute switch up that has happened within the zombies community. Like, everyone was shitting on this map. Next thing you know, people fucking love it. I mean, to be fair, right, like, my friend group wasn't shitting on any maps. So, he actually know how to not judge a map until the map comes out oh my god i'm, I'm gonna die the mangler swim is crazy right now oh big insta uh, look at this bro like what it, how many is there like hello can i help you it's actually crazy i completely forgot i was doing the two box challenge i'm not gonna lie it, this video has just been me waffling for like an hour which you know i hope you guys obviously enjoy that's what i'm not gonna lie most of the videos are gonna be in terms of like black ops 6 it's just gonna be me waffling obviously i won't spend every single upload talking about like you know people just saying the game's bad but you know there'll be other just random topics so i mean i hope you guys do enjoy that uh, i'm also gonna go ahead and quickly upgrade this to gold. I kind of want to see how much it is to get another self-revive. I also really need to buy a new set of armor. That's another thing I really need to do. Also, what trial would we get ourselves here? Hold location? That's not too bad. I mean, in here could be kind of bad, actually. Holy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no way. Oh, my God. Okay, I just got clapped up. I don't know what I was doing, bro. I got a little bit greedy there. Oh, and there I go. Um. Oh, my God. I had a little bit gruesome. Holy. Scary stuff, but... Yeah, there we go. Round 26 again, bro. Oh, my Lord, bro. Yeah, that's right. After round 25, it does kind of ramp up. But I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I mean, either way, that is gonna be it for two box challenge on every single Black Ops 6 map, at least for the time being. I mainly just want to see how difficult it was because I feel like, again, all of the weapons in this game are kind of usable, which I really do like. Like, there doesn't really seem to be a meta right now. Oh, look at that, I got three on the house. But yeah, it doesn't really seem to be like a meta or anything like that with the weapons you use. You kind of can just go into it and pick up any weapon out of the box, pack up a budget a few times and you know, be on your day, which I really do enjoy. So I suppose to answer that, like, how hard would the two box challenge be in black ops 6 
It's obviously hard because the game itself is a lot harder, but it's not impossible. You know what I mean? It ain't a like Cold War situation where all the guns are just dookie. So yeah, either way, that is going to be it for the video. Thank you all for, you know, showing up and watching. If you guys have any more challenges or anything you guys want to see on this game, then let me know and I'll definitely do some. But yeah, I mean, other than that, thank you to everyone who's become a member of the channel. And uh, yeah, you know, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.